Right now, 229,000 jobless claims last week. That is down uh, from uh, the prior week's initial release of 242,000. But we've got to see here uh, what the... Uh, actual uh, revision is going to be because, uh, as we mentioned, Massachusetts reported fraud in its initial claims numbers. About 14,300 a yeah, week just on had the been added right in. Yeah. So over the course of the last 12 weeks, that's about 35,000. Yeah, the revision now goes to 225 from last week. So last week, instead of being 242, <coughs> was 225. So we actually <coughs> go up by 4,000. Uh, if you want to figure out what that means for the economy and the markets, go ahead. I know Lisa was struggling to do that, but it does suggest some problems with jobless claims as a sort of uh, well, canary to tell us something about the labor market. Can we look at the second view of GDP numbers coming out, yeah. which I think is a sprightly report, which maybe is that market reaction? Well, we do uh, see that GDP, the second report, uh, first revision, 1.3 percent for the first quarter. That is up from 1.1 percent initially reported, and it does look like a lot of that is consumer spending, up 3.8 percent versus 3.7 percent. Uh, we're going to have to check and see the details of that to see how much of that is inventories as well, which was a big mm. deal in the, the earlier report. <clears throat> but it does suggest that we are seeing s stronger growth in the U.S. Like, than everybody had anticipated. Mm. Help, help me here with the animal spirit as seen by personal consumption ticking up in the second look. Well, uh, uh, one of the big things is uh, non-residential fixed investment, basically business spending, which had been uh, very low, revised up to 1.4 percent, so a little healthier than it had been, and uh, consumer spending higher. So overall, the economy going into the second quarter was running a little bit stronger than uh, had been initially thought, which suggests that uh, it may be not unrealistic that we see uh, some reasonable growth in the second quarter. The Atlanta Fed GDP now number, which is, it's it's way too preliminary to put a lot of stock in it, but it has us growing at 2.9 percent in the second quarter. Mike, how reliable are some of these data points, especially given potential fraud, potential revisions that have been all over the map? Well, it does suggest that jobless claims around the country have an issue. We saw a lot of fraud <clears throat> during the uh, pandemic, and that really pushed up a lot. I mean, we, we got 20 million jobless claims, and now they're saying, well, maybe half that. Uh, so we really don't know. And a lot of these uh, jobless claim systems in the states, we did find out during the pandemic, are running on very old computers, and they don't have a very good ver verification system, and states have chopped their spending on it, so they have fewer people to verify who are getting the benefits. And so... Uh, it does call into question sort of the whole uh, jobless claims, uh, uh, shall we call it structure, uh, or rather rickety structure. Uh, we did see uh, continuing claims not revised. Uh, they were up about 1,799,000 last week. This week, 1,794,000. So very little change in that does suggest that a few of those people fell out. Uh, right. So we're not seeing a declining, deteriorating trend as we thought in jobless claims.